What up? I got nice skin here with me. This ain't a diss song. But um, yeah, uh huh, you know what it is. I'm a cheese head, y'all niggas cheese whiz. Pittsburgh Steelers, that's nothing. That Super Bowl ring, that's stunning. Pull up in your town, yeah. Okay, how does the production of a guy like Alan Lazard help someone like you out here? Well, I mean, I think people kind of disrespect it at first because you may not know who he is or um, a younger player that hasn't really been established yet. So, um, it, well, one, it allows him to, you know, come into his own and get more comfortable in this offense. And two, obviously, as he starts to develop more and uh, contribute more, they start to have to take notice to that. And then, um, you know, it'll eventually lead to less doubles and uh, more opportunities for me. Do you, do you look forward to a situation like that? You played so many years with Jordy and Randall and James Jones. And yeah. You look forward to more. Hey, they got to respect the whole offense now. Yeah, man. I mean, like I said, as as he gets more opportunities, we know he's gonna, you know, come through and and, and make plays. So um, he's just gonna put those defenses in a bind. They don't know if they want to double, if they don't want to account for him. So um, you know, we just kind of this has been the most spread out it's ever been in the wideout room for us. So um, you know, I may I may mention to it before the game that this is probably as far as the actual the. Um, you know, snap counts. I think that this has probably been the most diverse it's ever been. So, guys are getting opportunities and they're making the most of them. So, we're just all trying to spread the wealth and uh, make plays. When you got here last year, undrafted guy signed up for practice squad. I mean, could you see the potential then, or when did you know he could be a big contributor? Honestly, I mean, people come and go so much where you don't even fully know uh, for a while uh, exactly how they'll pan out. But I say that as far as from when he got here to now, it's been the most growth I've seen of anybody that's come. So um, he's, he's owned it. He's, he's dove into the playbook. He's a really smart guy, so he's picked up on a lot of that really quickly. Um, you know, he's, he has a lot of ability. Um, he's even proved some of the guys wrong as far as, you know, some of the things that he can do, um, even within our room. I know we, we've all kind of teased him about his speed um, back in the day, and then he dropped weight, um, did all the small things to contribute to, you know, eventually help his game, and, you know, it's, it's paid off. Devontae had touched down San Fran two last week. Hat trick this week. Uh, how are you feeling about the way you produced the last few weeks now leading into December? Um, yeah, it's been good to find the end zone a couple of times this past few weeks, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's about I, I try to get in the end zone to help the team win so if we're getting uh, you know if I score one touchdown or, or two you know I'm not really worried about it or zero I would love to get in the end zone obviously but um, you know it's about that ultimate team goal is to get the W so if uh, if other guys are getting in and we getting you know we're putting points on the board that's all that matters in terms of this team's identity Matt LaFleur was asked about it he said that's for you guys to write about Aaron said the identity has been embracing roles is that something where you've got enough guys that can fill enough roles that you can fill any any game plan needed to win any different way? Yeah, man. I mean, we, we've shown that we can do it multiple different ways. Uh, Aaron Jones got in four times against Dallas. Um, I had two touchdowns this past week. Um, Allen got in, so we got different guys all over the place. Sadie's got in. Um, his first one from Aaron. So we got guys everywhere that can make plays, and, and uh, you know, I got I like to think we have pretty good depth too. You guys positioned yourself well at nine and three here. But with all these good teams in the NFC, is it even more important to finish out and, and maybe get a buy in a home field and that kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, we're taking it game by game, but obviously, big picture, it, we'd love to have as many games here in January as we can. So. Uh, we put ourselves in a good position right now, but making sure we go out and handle business and win those games uh, leading up to the playoffs. Devontae, you talked about the uh, disparity and the different guys getting opportunities in the receiving room. Most of them haven't been as big, meaningful games as you have. Most of them haven't played as much outside football this time of year as you have. Is this a chance to really you know, show it? Jody, you're the number one here, not just in terms of production, but what you can lead, how you yeah. can lead these guys? Yeah, I mean, this, this is the time where I think you separate the boys from the men. Um, obviously, it's, it's, um, we got to grind a few of these wins out, but um, it's not easy to play in this weather. You know, so when teams come in, it's something that we have a little bit of an edge on in the wide receiver room. I know guys don't want to tackle and they don't want to do certain things. So this is when I try to like dig deep and, and you know do as much as I can at this point because if guys don't want to be out there, they sure don't want to have to defend and, and do all these other things. So um, I, I try to own those moments and be there for Aaron because just like. Guys don't want to tackle it. Uh, new guys don't want to run routes as much uh, being outside in that type of weather. So just take advantage of you know every every little thing I can. What concerns you the most about the Redskins? Where they came back, they were down 14, sacking the quarterback. Yeah. What's the biggest concern about playing these guys? 
Well, I mean, the big picture, everybody feels like they have nothing to lose, but technically they're still in it, so um, they got plenty to plenty to play for. And I mean, if nothing else, they got to, you know our our postseason hopes and things like that to to try to ruin. So um, they're not just going to lay down; they're going to come in here and they're going to, you know, put their best stuff out there. And they got some great individual players. Obviously, the record doesn't really show that as much, but um, they got some 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 great guys. They got a great front seven. Um, some some paid guys over there too, so you know they're not just gonna lay down. Like I said, we're gonna have to go out there and earn it. Oh yeah, Young Moolah, baby.